Well, hey y'all, today we are gonna make a very easy, quick and simple three ingredient moon pie. Yes, cause we have the eclipse coming up here. So let me show you what I have going on. I've got graham crackers, use your favorite kind. I'm using the Char brand honey grams, which happen to be gluten free, but you can use regular graham crackers. I have some marshmallow fluff and I have some melting chocolates. And I just have my little baking dish here and I have these little graham crackers laid out on it. I've got my oven preheated to 350. I'm gonna put these in the oven for five minutes and then I'm gonna bring them out and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So, going off to the oven. Okay, these were in the oven for exactly five minutes. It's where you do wanna work a little quickly. I've just got a, the, this is actually the donut hole cutter but you're just gonna to wanna to use the size that fits inside of your little cookie. And we're just gonna cut these out. Now you could, and you might have to use a little utensil to poke them out. You could do these square if you wanted to, but because the eclipse is coming, I want these to be round. And I'm so excited about this eclipse. And I'm gonna do another moon pie but it's going to be more of the traditional with the cookie recipe and we'll talk more about the eclipse in that one but this is just a simple simple little recipe and i did try this in the microwave and they don't it, the heat does something weird to them i don't i can't even explain it and they didn't stay hot enough to get them all done at one time so if you want to do the microwave it may take just a little bit longer, but that's okay. But today we're going for easy peasy, aren't we? All right, and see they're just about to get too cool on me here. So I'm gonna knock the rest of these out and then I'm gonna put them on a plate that is not hot and I'm gonna put these in the freezer to kind of cool them down because we're wanting to get with it today, aren't we? We sure are. So, I'll see you back in just a little bit when we get ready to put the good, yummy marshmallow stuff on it. So, I'll see you back. These are completely cool. Now, you don't have to put those in the freezer. That's not a necessary step because I just want to speed things up today because I got things to do. So, I've just got my uh, marshmallow cream, room temperature, and there's no measurements on this, y'all. You're just gonna scoop out some marshmallow cream and put it on your cookie and then smash the top on it. But you don't wanna smash it too flat because you don't want the good stuff to come out. Go. I would love to hear how many of you are in the path of, I think they're calling it totality, when it's gonna be completely dark. I think here, in Cleveland County, Arkansas, I think we're gonna have about four minutes and four seconds or something like that of complete darkness. That is gonna be so neat. You know, they say the, uh, try to be outside if you, if you can because the birds and the, and the critters out in the, in the trees and the woods and everything, they're gonna think it's nighttime, y'all. And uh, so it's really gonna be very interesting and a lot of the schools are closing too because they say we're gonna be overrun with people. And a lot of these small towns, y'all, they're not cut out to have, you know, if you got a town of 300 people, they're not cut out to have uh, 10, 20, 30,000 people just to bombard their little city. So if you're coming, be sure and gas up before you get here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish doing these and then I'm gonna pop these in the freezer because I'm gonna get my um, little double boiler right there heated up and I'm gonna melt these chocolates and if you put these cookies right now into that melted chocolate the marshmallows will come out ask me how I know <laughs> because I've done this recipe several times trying to get it kind of I don't know if anything is ever perfected especially if it's me in the kitchen but uh, it's pretty doggone close. So there we go. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put these back in the freezer. 
and I'll see you whenever this is ready to melt some chocolates. These were in the freezer for about 30 minutes and they are really good and cold. So we're just gonna transfer these over here and I'm gonna get to dipping and I will take you what we have got going on right here. I have got my makeshift double boiler with a, um, I got my big pot down here and I've got some water about yay, yay much in the bottom. And then I just put my, my melters in there. And you don't want the bottom of your dish that you've got your chocolates in to, um, you don't want that to touch the water. So there we go, there's one down. Now I will tell you that I have, <laughs> one of the practice runs that I did on this, I put these up on a rack so some of the extra chocolate would drip off. And when it dripped off, it took all of it off of the bottom. So I don't recommend using a rack to put them on. But I was doing this the other day and my, I ran out of chocolate for some of them, and my husband had one of those that didn't have any chocolate on it, and he said they were delicious. So, there we go. We got us another little cookie idea, don't we? And this recipe will definitely be in my next cookbook, as will the other um, moon pie. And that other moon pie, y'all, that video, I'll post it either the day before or the day after this one. So you can you can find that one. That is gonna be with a real cookie. And that cookie has uh, ground up graham crackers in it. Cause you know, a real moon pie has a, a bit of a sandy kind of a situation going on. And those are really, really good. And I did save the edges that uh, from these cookies that I was uh, that I, I cut off whenever I was cutting them with the cookie round thing you do. It's a thing called donut hole middle thing. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> My multitasker is broken. Are y'all that way? But anyway, uh, as I said before, you don't have to do those in a make them round. You can do them square. Okay. And you stay right there. <laughs> Pretty like that. What you could do, is that fork going to fall? I've got some of the crumbs. If you wanted to do just just a little, just a little dusting over the top, kind of gives your eyes something else to, to do and, and kind of makes them pretty. I'm just gonna do a couple of those. I'm gonna save this and use this in the uh, cookie recipe that we're gonna make. So there we go. Homemade moon pies. Mine just happened to be gluten-free and I'll put a photograph of this box at the end. These are very good. My husband says these are delicious and that man can eat anything. I swan him. So anyway, there you go. So look for that other video and I can't wait to hear about your e Eclipse experience. So y'all go do something fun. And wear your glasses, y'all. You gotta do that. Protect your eyeballs. God only gave you two of them, so they're pretty important. I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.